So we're here for a World Mag exclusive. I'm here with Jazzwood, a Grammy award winning Jazzwood, so I mustn't forget that. And tonight, how are you finding the Positive Vibrations tour? The Positive Vibrations tour is going on quite well. Mm -hmm. A nice show, yeah. nice production. The artists represent Lushana, Irene, all the upcoming acts were great. The Mafia and Floxy band was great. Okay. It was a nice night. Fantastic. So the night so far has been, as you said, very positive. How are you finding the music scene at the moment in the UK? The music scene in the UK is doing very well actually. Okay. It's still growing. You know I mean, sometimes right. it gets a little fight. But I think that sometimes there's always a comparison between Jamaican music mm -hmm. and UK music. Right. But I always say if if it's reggae music, mm -hmm. whether it's made in Japan or Australia or yeah. wherever, it's still reggae music. Okay. So sometimes when you listen to radio and they're playing an artist from England, they say, oh, we're going into the UK segment of the... There's no, there's no different segment. Yeah, there's okay. no different segments of the music. If it's reggae, it's reggae. If it's dancehall, it's dancehall. Mm. So I, I think that this music here in the UK is doing yeah. great. You have lots of great artists right now. Yeah. You know, you have Gappy Ranks doing very well. Mm -hmm. You have Stylo G doing very well. Yeah. You also have upcoming singer called Tassoni, she's doing very well also. Yeah. And you know, the yeah, legends just, are there from the... we just interviewed her. So oh yeah? yeah she's she was here. here? Yeah, she's here tonight. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of talent here. Mm, yeah, there I mean, is. We also have the greats from before, like the Azua, Jun before, to mm -hmm. Maxi Priest. There's a long line of greats that come from yeah, here. Definitely. Maxi Priest is the first reggae artist to ever go number one on the Billboard track yeah. and go on the Billboard track. Yeah, so. and a lot of the artists are following that. I mean, I Wayne featured, I think, at number four on the Billboard chart. So right. we've had that positive, yeah. you know, move forward right. with the music. So, I mean, UK, UK mm. music is doing great. Yeah. It's always doing great. I see from it gets the right support. Yeah. It can only go further. That's I think true. The, the support is very limited in the media, with the radio, mm -hmm. TV, magazines. There's very limited support. Okay. So I think the media, support the reggae acts here in okay. London, UK and, and worldwide. That's fantastic to know and I must admit that has been one of the um, themes this evening with the interviews. A lot of the artists have said it's been nice to see the collaboration. Is that something you'd like to see a lot more of? You know, the, the UK artists, the Jamaican artists and everybody coming together? Well, yeah, that's, that's the whole idea of doing mm. music. I mean, um, in every genre of music, you always see other artists reaching out to other different countries yeah, and, and different genres. I mean, so even here in the UK, it's good. I always say, when you have strong artists here in the UK, it's yeah. good for them to travel to Jamaica. Okay. You know what I mean? Because Jamaica is the ultimate place to make mm. reggae and dance and music. So sometimes if you see that your career is not really going the right way from in England, yeah. you should just go back over to Jamaica where okay. it's done the right way. Yeah. So I advise all artists, producers, you know what I mean? If you want to go to that pinnacle of the music, you have to go to Jamaica. Sometimes it can be done here, but it'll be a longer, okay. a longer road. That's a good piece of advice. And yeah. I mean, a lot of artists probably are out there thinking what to do next. And I mean, that's that's a really good yeah, piece that's a good of advice. Well, I'm, I'm from the UK. Yeah. I was okay. born and raised in the UK. Right. And I decided at a young age that I wanted to go to Jamaica and do music. Mm. And that's where I met a lot of like legendary producers like King Jammins, mm. Bobby Digital and stuff. So. Me going there as as somebody from London, they like, mm, we're not sure if you have that enough talent what it to do. Takes, yeah. yeah, and I had to prove them wrong, and I mm. showed them. Okay. And from that, it's I've been a different with, story. Yeah, I've worked with every single artist from Jamaica. There's reggae, dance, all of the top producer. Yeah. You name them, I work with them. Okay. And that's all about me going out there mm. and pushing my name and pushing my work and my talent. Mm. So that's what you got to do. Okay, so it seems like promotion and making sure that you get out there, expand your horizons yeah. and make more of the music industry yeah, as a to, whole yeah, and not just put in the work. segmented. You have to put in the work. Because sometimes mm. when, when the artists are here, they say, oh, we're not getting no support and we're not getting this and we're not getting that. Yeah. Because you have to put in that extra effort as well. Mm. Okay, yeah. well, that sounds like sound. Good advice from a Grammy Award winning producer. So thank you very much. And World Mag, that's an exclusive. Thanks. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. Nice. nice. Thank you very much. Sir.